Hey, good morning, YouTube. My name is Kenny. Thank you for checking out the channel. So in today's video, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to be going over all the parts that we got from Fast. I will let you know why I chose these parts. And then these are going to be getting installed in the upcoming Motorbill videos. Because it's everything. You can mold, shape, find almost anything. All it takes is some time and some clarity to find your identity. It's mind over everything. All right, everyone, if you enjoy this kind of content, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, turn on that notification bell so that the next time I upload a video, you'll be notified. Share this video because it helps out that YouTube algorithm and it'll help this channel grow. The bigger this channel gets, the more quads we'll have on here and the funner these things get. So let's turn around, talk about these parts, let you know why I chose them, and we'll just get this rolling. All right, everyone, so we have a slew of parts laying out here and things that we're going to be getting installed on this machine. But first, we're going to start off with the actual motor and where we were last. So right here, we have the motor looking absolutely amazing. We Cerakoted it, powder coated the nuts and hardware. We do have a 14-2 sprocket on here and the DRW case saver already installed. Not going to really go over that too, too much, but it will be shown but if you're interested in it, I will put a link down here in the description that's going to go with the original motor build or the bottom closing. So now what we're going to be doing, hopefully in this next video, is putting the stator side cover on. So I did try to powder coat that or coat that with no good luck, but we're going to go over the part that we're going to be using to replace that. Here we have the red line cool head and all the hardware and the acorn nuts to go with it. So what got me with this one is basically like bang for buck. A lot of people did recommend a couple of the other ones like Pro Design and things like that and NOS. Head is an actual chariot cool head. It came from Redline Racing and it was MSRP at about $185. If I get any of these quotes wrong, I will be posting the actual price somewhere up in here. But $185 is what I paid for this one, not including tax. And that's just MSRP and what I got here. So it came with all the hardware, except for the actual studs. According to online, you can use standard studs. So I did order a set of studs. You know, we'll see how that's actually gonna work. So Redline Performance. So Redline Racing is where we got the Chariot Head. And it is supposedly be stronger than a lot of the other ones that people have online. And it is a one-piece design. So I don't have to worry about all these other gaskets and things in there failing, multi-pieces and this. One-piece design, I have to just basically get the domes put in there and then we should be good to go with that. So over here are the fast gaskets that come with this. Nope, that doesn't come with it. This is just my hydro flask. Over here, I did just go with more of a deep, uh, cheaper knockoff star shift star i had mine and then i broke one of the teeth off and i just wanted to make sure or see how this one's gonna run here from vetoes we actually got the lower supports new it was not even really worth it trying to clean up the other ones and they were all kind of like trash and i couldn't find some bolts and all that so right here we go with those lower supports these bolts here are going to be replacing these acorns so we're going to have these up top more spike as you can see, but I'm also going to get these powder coated to match everything else that we're doing there. Over here, as you can see, lock up clover from Fast Racing. Looks absolutely amazing. I'm not really sure how it's going to work and everything, but you know, it's pretty simple. It's going to cover it up and then we're going to have our lock up right there. But I need to get this out, get the impeller for the water pump put in there. Make sure everything lines up good and it should come with a hardware kit. I am debating on whether or not I'm going to just change all that hardware out and sandblast it and get it all orange, but we'll figure that out later. Here are the studs that we got from BP Racing. That's gonna go over here with that. Also comes with the more hardware, so I'm gonna have plenty of extra bolts right here. Gaskets, I did decide on my lockup cover to go with a orange glass. So this is that big old piece of, I'm thinking Lexan, real thick. And it's gonna go on here, you're looking good. Clutch side cover, I did try to powder coat, I did try to coat my other one and I didn't have any luck. So this is what the replacement is going to be. And I'm pretty sure that you already have seen this in the last video. So that's good, this is kind of like after footage. 
Over here we have the cub cylinders or the their servo, servo cubs, the big old area here that it's a one solid uniblock design. So it is the S6858P. Not 100% sure what that is. Fast did do a clean up port on it and make it look really good in there. So I'm happy with that. And I also cleaned up these ports here. If you're gonna be installing this, make sure not to forget to put these plugs in here and that's within that lower package right there. I did Cerakote the cylinders or I did a Cerakote the whole jug just so it matches over there and it will be nice and clean and it will maintain this clean fresh look for who knows how long. I did go with the domes at 23. I was going to run this on 110 but after talking to the guys down there at Fast, if I wasn't going to be dragging it and this thing is going to drink some fuel, maybe I should just run it on 93 and with it running on 93, they, they, they stated that the performance gain really was not super significant by changing that. So we're just going to stick with the domes that are going to be working with 93 octane so that we can have this nice good machine that I can, you know, ride around and trail and I don't have to keep on running out because my goodness, I don't know about your area, but is, free, is 110 hard to find? I mean, I can't find 110 out of the pump. Every time I want to go, it's like 90 something dollars to go down to the um, local station. I would just rather just fill up my own jug. However, I'm pretty sure in that 90 something dollars that you're paying, you're paying for that can as well and the ability to, to you know, send it to wherever it is. So eh, we'll figure that out. That's another topic for another time. All right. We also have the Wiseco Pistons. These are the part number right there, as you see. They say this is the Blast, Blaster Pro Light. I'm not 100% sure if that's what I need, but we'll figure that out. And uh, they're at 80, uh, 68 millimeter. Got a new clutch cable because the other one kind of drug a bit. And then as you see right here, we did get raw shears. I really love the look of these pipes. I really love the raw look. One of the things that you have to fight with is that right there. You'll get some rust on there, but it doesn't take a whole, whole much, but like a wire wheel. And even at this stage, just a Brillo plaid to clean those up. And then you wipe them down with some WD-40. All right, everyone. So this video was just going to be about those parts in these separate videos. As we go forward, we will be getting these parts installed. But if you know anything about building the Banshee, this is a lot of money sitting on the table. So like right here, this and those, you know, starting out at like 1300 bucks and these right here, like 800 bucks. And then these right here, that's like, I don't know, 700 bucks if you get the lock up. And this right here with the four mil stroker is like uh, true and welded is like 400 bucks. And then you have the cases and the Cerakote and the DRW. And if you want to do any transmission mods, I mean, it can add up, but hopefully it is going to be a machine, a monster that we're going to be working with. But everyone, but all right, everyone, thank you for checking out this video. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. Turn on that notification bell, as I said in the beginning, and share this video. If you're any interested in what this machine looked like prior, when we first got it in the 2005, I'm going to be linking the playlist as well as if you want to see what that motors was looked like before in the build of that check it out right here i love the chase and the hunt and i set the pace when i'm running i always take what i want and i always give it 100 don't need a bank no i'm funded play the game like it's nothing i'm always thankful for something don't take for granted stay humble now wake up it's time to look at the enemy look in the mirror it appears